Alright, what's going on, Ghost Squad? It's Ghostly Flash back with another video today. We're here joined by Tony, the main man of the show. Uh, but wanted to do a spectating video for you guys uh, because whenever somebody spectates solo, they seem to get a lot of good crazy content in these videos. Well, I say content, but I mean players, they get to see who the actual players are. Like, you know, they get hackers 24 seven and it's like, I, I never run into hackers in games. If I do, it's very, very rare. Everybody considers me lucky and I'm like, no, cause I kind of want to see how fucking redundant and stupid these guys are. Uh, I've wanted to do a spectating video for a while just to see you know what it's like being in my skill group being you know in my fucking i don't know whatever they call it i fuck i don't know but loading up hopefully we can get some something good something hilarious in here today uh we might just let the dude kill us in gulag and see how that goes also there have been like a lot of fake leaks and stuff out there saying modern warfare 3 is going to be remastered uh this this year i don't know and i don't think that any of them are real so if you guys do see anything that's like that out there just don't believe it because it's not real you know this has been going on for a while people will make fake fake accounts fa fake accounts they will they'll make like fake posters and fake trailers and things like that just to give everybody high hopes for call of duty i don't feel like it's gonna be good especially if they're gonna do the call of duty vanguard because i feel like we don't need another world war ii game we just need another game like modern warfare 3 modern warfare 2 all right so we're watching Oh, Mar oh, Mary Leo, one nine one six. All right, this is an interesting spot to drop in. Every time I every time I rush this building, I always end up dying. Oh, the Swiss, dude, the Swiss is fucking killer. Like I don't know when the Swiss got good in Warzone, but it, it is pretty damn good, I must say. Going through and checking each room just to be safe. You know, there's there's a lot of damn rooms in this house, and it's ridiculous how many rooms. Well, I mean, I wouldn't even call this a house. It's more like an office space warehouse type thing. He's just not sneaking whatsoever. He is just, like, going balls to the wall out here. But what is he, what is he sneaking up on now? realize he probably thinks it's phase jev or tim the tapman or something spectating him but sorry buddy sorry to get your hopes up what what is he why is he playing so slow like this is this is really really agitating like is this how you're is this is this how your typical warzone solos player plays because i normally don't play solos i'm normally running with the squad or going in and filling up random trios or quads I'm not, I'm not playing duos though. Fuck duos. Duos is toxic. Oh, he's being hunted now. Okay. We're already down to 112. And we're still in the first circle, which is garbage, keep in mind. Like, these circles are just awful. Where are these players whenever I'm playing solos? Whenever I get the urge and want to actually play solos, every, every single player I go up against is just sweaty. Sweaty fucking try hard. And I think it's hilarious too because. When they fight me, they're, they're, they're god tier. They're absolutely amazing. But when, then they, but when they fight other people, they're like batshit stupid. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's hilarious. It's so funny. All right, he's gonna take the vehicle. Don't know if that's the smartest thing, especially when he's being hunted, but what do I know? I'm just an average Warzone player. Oh, see somebody flying in over there. Let's see what his next plan of attack is here. Is he gonna rush in hard or is he gonna deady or? Oh, Cam seen to get over the fence. He's gonna rush him. Coming up from the outside, going around the right side, coming in the door right behind him. Is he gonna deady? Oh, he's deady. He's actually smart enough to use deady. Holy moly. Oh, the accuracy. Dead by Crocodile Dundee. Crocodile Dundee. Oh, okay. Well, we're spectating Major Zen now. I thought Crocodile Dundee was gonna be the one that we were gonna spectate, but I guess not. I guess Crocodile Dundee was the one that died. He's 
play him back by Storm. Looks like he's going to be gatekeeping, or he's going to get gatekeeped if he doesn't move up anytime soon. I think he knows that somebody's in this building, but not 100% certain. He's only got two. We're down to 83 people in the first zone is not even done yet. Like, my God. You know, personally, I hope Call of Duty this year steps away from the Battle Royale aspect. Because, I mean, Battle Royales were cool for like two to three years, and then they just... They just happen to die off. Like, they, they're they just not fun anymore. Oh, he does got a gas mask, though. But he might die to storm if he can get this car out of here fast enough. A lot of people timing out as well. I think that's the majority of why the lobby is falling. Ooh, just barely scrapes it. You know that car has got to be heavily damaged as well. I know this is going to kind of go off topic, but... Bro, congrats to the congratulations to the Bucks for winning the NBA Finals. For those who keep up with basketball, I bet you guys are actually kind of kind of stoked and shocked to see that the Bucks won that. I mean, I was kind of and I was kind of pulling for the Suns, but at the same time, it wasn't really my team that made it to the Finals. I'm a Dallas Mavericks fan, uh, but it was actually a really really well played out NBA Finals. It was way better than the the three years in a row that we had LeBron and Curry you know, make a finals appearance back to back to back. It was kind of irritating at that point, but, you know, then again, I mean, those were two amazing players, and I don't know what's happening with the spectating. It keeps, like, flashing the gulag or something like that. Oh, this loadout's dropping. Where is it dropping in at? Oh, not too far in front of him, but I did see another, another loadout there. I don't know if he saw it or not. Um, if he can manage to get his loadout, I'm calling he has a Swiss and a Para or a Craig. Oh. Okay, dude just stopped and looked at him. With the Craig. Yep. Knew it. Alright, we're gonna be... Who who, who, who we got now? Mancini? M Man Mancini? M Mancini? Hope I said that right. Four kills, level 194. I don't know what it was, but I felt like it was hella, hella easy to uh, level up this season. I, I don't know why. I, I don't know if it's because I was getting Dark Aether challenges done or what, but I felt like it was hella easy to level up this season. Camo challenges actually give a lot, a lot of XP, especially during double XP weekend. Like, you can fly up 30, 60 levels in one day if you play pretty much all day he's got the he's got the krig and a bullfrog as a secondary that bullfrog is nasty that bullfrog puts in work if you got the right attachments and you can hit your shots especially on rebirth is i play a lot of rebirth that bullfrog is insane keeps checking his heartbeat sensor like he's pretty sure he's already checked it a good two or three times uh, he's sliding around like crazy, so he's definitely got that sweat mentality in him. Oh, stopping. Okay, he's... This, this guy seems to be really, really paranoid. I don't know why. Uh, I guess he's got... Man, I don't know. Okay. And this dude just checks the, the baby monitor every chance that he gets. He does not want to get snuck up on. But then again, you know, there could be somebody in here camping with ghosts, so. Oh, yep, you hear him. Go get him. Oh, you see him. Uh, okay, with the movement that you have, I kind of expected better shots from you, but, you know. You know, that, that works, I guess. You get, you get a little bit of damage, you get them scared, you get them paranoid. They're not going to want to come out and fight. Making moves here. Oh, okay. Well, he said, oh, okay. Oh my god, he's just toying with him now. No way. Yeah, when did, when did running... Th oh, he's getting sniped now. Oh, snap. Yeah, you better run, bro. Yeah, this dude is just... Extremely paranoid. You know, rotate around here to the train tracks now. Probably get under the bridge. Hide in the bush? No? Okay, so we're not pulling the Fortnite strat. Kind of a shocker, but... And go back, probably get the dirt bike. Did, was that a person right in front of him? Oh, it was. Come on, bro. Yeah, there you go, bud. 
There you go, bud. Look, you got yourself a satchel. Take. Take. Take the satchel. No. Patrick, the satchel. Thank you. He looked at it for a little bit and was like, I don't know what this is, but that works. You know how it be with work. Um, but combat bow, that thing can be interesting sometimes. Oh, is he going to try to go for a clip? Oh, close, close, close. See, I keep, I keep thinking it's like the combat bow from Cold War whenever I pick it up. Because it's got the same name, and I'm not used to this one shooting explosive arrows instead of fire arrows. Uh, I don't know why they wanted to change it up, because I, I guess so they could use it to take down vehicles or whatever. Come on, dude, I know you have a Krig, but you're not going to be able to fight him from that distance, unless you mount up. Like, that recoil is going to kill you. Also, I don't understand what the point of putting a sentry gun was. Oh, hold on. Oh, well, he was going good, but then he- Oh, okay. Oh, there's Crocodile Dundee. Crocodile Dundee's made an epic return. Alright, so I guess the Krig is just way better than I thought it was. Doesn't make any sense? No way. Oh my god! No way he just did that. Look at him, even, even he's happy! Oh my god, that was insane. He's going to clip that right now. He's he's like, Xbox, record that. Holy crap. Dude, if you somehow find this video, nice fucking shot, bro. That was, that was awesome. That was dope. Kind of rooting for this guy to win now. I hope he, kind of hope he wins. Alright, so I'm thinking it's going to be a farmland end right here. Because uh, this is the way the circle is playing out. But then there could be somebody up in these hills or in the field. Because I know it's normally where people like to sit towards the end of the game right here is in those fields and shit. So I feel like looting at the end of the game, especially at this point, is just not needed. Because, I mean, you're pretty much already got everything you need. Unless you just need ammo or get lucky enough to find a UAV or, say, a precision inside of, you know, one of the boxes. Or if you find a golden box then it definitely definitely helps out okay well we've resorted to corner camping now all right i guess he can hear me uh so he moved which is cool i mean it gives us more more action more entertainment he's probably hoping that nobody sees him and that he doesn't get sniped or that he's not heard but i guarantee you there's probably somebody camping in one of these buildings that he's running by so that definitely there you go. Stop. I didn't know stopping power was still in the game. I could have swore they took it out, but or at least made it harder to find. Like, they probably made it harder to find because like, I haven't been finding it as much. Okay, he's gonna load his Krig up with it. Rotates this hut right here. There probably might be somebody on the other side. There's another person spectating him. So is he? Oh. That was a good play right there. Don't waste your uh, your stopping power on somebody that's just right there that you don't really need to waste your stopping power on. Oh, there's a vehicle. Oh, use your combat bow. Use your combat bow. Smart man. Smart man. Come on, get him. Get him. Come on, bro. You got this. Oh, he hit him. He hit him. Good shots. Good shots. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get out the way. Oh, did he jump out of the car? Oh, he had to have. If he didn't jump... Oh, there's a Bertha as well? Oh, my goodness. Where did that guy go? Is he in those rocks? Or where did he... Chill out at? Okay, I guess he's... It was a really weird time to pick up a sniper, but... I would have kept the bullfrog, but... Then again... What do I know? Okay, well, fuck me, am I right? I guess this guy just has all the god strats. Oh, man. This is a bad spot to be in right here. It's in here by the satellite. I didn't know the satellite crashed or moved over here. 
He's in a really, really sketchy position, especially with the guy that was to his right over there. It looks like he's rocking with stun grenades now. Gonna stun him. Are you gonna go for a trick shot? No. He's got 10. Oh, no. And there he goes. Choda. Choda 22 got him with the airstrike. Man, that sucks. Choda with the face clan tag. Chilling out here with three kills. Three people left. Three people spectating him. Was he rocking the Fara? Meta. Knew that. I saw that one coming from a mile away. All right. This guy does have a self revive. He's playing... Way more paranoid than the last guy, but then again, there are three, there are two other people left besides him. So, doesn't even have a satchel. Getting lit up right now. Takes a dive behind the satellite. Runs towards the right to get out of it. Doesn't realize the zone's coming. Oh, man, what an unfortunate event. Down to the black rose skin. Your, your stalker is me. Wait, who won? Who won? Did I, I missed it? I didn't get to. Who won? Okay. I think your stalker is me. Won this game. Oh yep, sweaty black rose skin. Give it up for the black rose skin, ladies and gentlemen. Couldn't get past the meta. Wait. So how did he kill the guy in front of him and the guy to the side of him? Oh look, there's me right there. We're gonna talk shit. Not a single fucking word. Alright, hopefully you guys did enjoy this spectating video. I knew it was something different for my channel. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy this, be sure to drop a subscribe, drop a comment, drop a like. Let me know what your favorite part was. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ghost here underscore flash. All the socials will be down in the uh, about section below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, y'all.